Howdy RC pilots, today I'm going to share how I land an EDF jet consistently on runway, flying at PV. We are going to use runway geometry to evaluate glide path on final approach to see if we are too high, too low, or just right. It's a method I learned flying full-scale Cessna 172s, and I think it applies equally as well for flying RCF PV. Let's try it. All right. Head tracking is activated. Control check. Aileron. Flaps. Flaps half. Okay, let's recenter my uh, um, head tracking here. Okay, taxiing out. We're taking off uh, from west to east, so we'll have the sun behind us on final approach. Okay, lining up. Okay, gyro's on, ready to go. Timer's counting. Taking off. Okay. Full power. Uh, gears coming up. Well, not really. We're going to keep it down. Then. Okay. Powers. Our lateral position is just right, we just overflew our mid-tail tree. The beam. Gears down, flaps half, full flaps. Okay, turning final. Okay, we're using the runway geometry for our glide path guidance. That's looking good. Power is coming off a little. Okay, taking off again. Full power. Power is coming off. Flaps half. Turning. Power is coming down to 50. Heights looking good. Okay, this is our midfield tree for lateral position. Leveling out. Okay, power is back to 50. Okay, landing checklist. Flaps, full, gears down. Okay, turning. Okay, this dive gate here and the tree is our final approach fix. We are a little high, coming in. Power is coming out, line up. Power's off. Okay, take it up again. Flaps half. Okay, turning. Power 75%. Okay, turning. Okay, power's back to 50. We're going to look at uh, a high approach and see what that looks like. And keep the power up. That's a little high. Okay, and we're gonna recognize that on this here. Okay, turning. Flaps. So you recognize that uh, trapezoidal shape is very tall, very elongated. So we're cutting power early. Flaps half. This time we're going to do a low approach. Oop, that's a little far. Let's see. Timer. 
it's a little low. And then keep it there, keep the power in. Flaps full. See, we're just clearing the treetops here. So keeping the power in a little longer. Flaps, turning. Power's back to half. Okay, we're going to try that high approach again. Power's coming in at 60. A little high. Back to 50. Flaps, full. Turning. That's uh, way high. And you can recognize that runway is very elongated. So power is coming off early. We're diving for the runway. Idle. Flare, flare, flare. Okay. Uh, flaps. Ah. Full power again. All right, see you next time, Chase. All right, let's see. Okay, we're gonna try the low approach again. So gears down, flaps half. Two to my right. We're gonna extend the downwind a little bit, turning. Okay, this is uh, just clear in the tree here. That's a little too low. Full flaps. Keeping the power in a little longer. Yeah, we are looking. That's looking pretty good. Power is coming off. Okay. Half flaps. Full power again. Turning. Gears down. Still. Okay, we're going to do this one just right. Looking good, power is coming back to 50. Okay, make this one our uh, final. Okay, full flaps. Turning. Okay, our final approach fix is right here. It's looking good, power is coming off just a little, maintaining this uh, trapezoidal shape for runway. That's looking good, that's looking good. Okay, power is coming off, clear. Perfect. Landing. Yay! I think we'll call it a day. Woo! That last landing was awesome. I love it. Well, thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, if you'd like a further explanation of the methods used today, please uh, check out Rob Machado's video, um, Evaluating Your Glide Path with Runway Geometry. He also has another video on um, how to time flares perfectly using runway expansion effect. Check them out. They will help you in perfecting your FPV landings. Uh, once again, thank you for tuning in. If you like the contents today, please uh, give me a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, blue skies. <laughs>